Hey Cameron, good evening. Hope all's well with you. Good to see you. Happy Tuesday, hope everybody is doing well tonight. It's good to see y'all. I'm, uh, I'm doing a really quick sketch here. This is inspired by the Domino Sugar Factory in um, Brooklyn, New York. 
building is currently under rehab or um, repurposing. I think they're taking the old factory and converting it into living space and possibly, um, I don't know if it's going to be retail or office space. It's a really cool building. And I'm just trying to just kind of capture the vibes of it with this sketch here. I'm planning on going and seeing this. Uh, definitely this summer, I'll be going in and exploring this area for sure. Hey, d Ray's in the house. d Ray, great to see you. Karen's in the house. Great to see you guys. And Cameron, appreciate you guys popping on. So this, um, this building I'm sketching is inspired by the Domino Sugar Factory in Brooklyn. In case you're just joining, it's, uh, it's currently being turned into, uh, I believe, living units and maybe office or retail. Um, it's a really interesting building. I don't know exactly what they're doing on the roof. I'm just looking at a picture that has, uh, it's under construction right now. So there's some kind of, I don't know if it's gonna be a glass a metal roof up here or a glass roof, but it's definitely curved. And I'm just, just sketching the shape of it in. So we'll have to leave it kind of like that, see what happens. Yeah, D-Race is domino, wow. Yeah, the Domino Sugar Factory. I um, I'll show you a screen. Sh I'll show you a picture of what I'm sketching. If my music's too loud. Let me know. I did turn up the volume on my end a little bit louder. Um. So here, this is a the picture I'm going to show you is a reference from um, really cool live streamer. Uh, the name of the show is the. NYC walking show. His name is C Fox. Really, really cool guy. Love him. Follow his his uh, stream on YouTube. Um, and I do have his permission to show this picture. If I can get it on my screen. If not, I'll do it another time. I'm trying to drag my image over from my computer onto my. Yeah, it's not working. Dang it. Um, I'll post a picture. I can't. I can't drag it onto my. I'm going to drag and drop it onto my screen here. Is it going to work? Oh, there we go. We got it. So this is the um, Domino Sugar Factory. You can see my sketch is loosely inspired by this. I like to do fast, quick, loose architectural drawings. But here's the Domino Sugar Factory. Cool building. And you can kind of see it's under construction right now. Awesome, awesome uh, facility. So you guys know I love industrial architecture. I love sketching it so much. Uh, and I can't wait to go and see this in person. Uh, probably, I'm definitely gonna do it this summer, if not sooner. So that'll be a lot of fun. So I'm just kind of practicing getting the feel of the building. And I actually really like this. I like, you know, I didn't draw every single window, the roof, this is a little out of it's out of scale. It's wonky, and that gets a thumbs up from me. That's what I'm going for: loose, wonky, fun. We have photographs. For me, photographs capture the exact detail. I'm after capturing kind of what's in my heart when I'm looking at this, and that's what I sketch. Ooh, that's deep. I'm going deep tonight, guys. I'm sketching what's in my heart what I'm feeling and I think that's what I love about creating is I love the feeling um, the connect the the self connection with my own feelings like am I happy when I'm sketching so am I angry am I uh, peaceful calm and that's one of the really cool things for me about sketching is just a great way to express sometimes I you know, expressing things you, that are hard to express. And drawing and sketching is a great, and painting is a great way to do that. I, I don't know, I have to look online and Google this. I'm sure there are architectural renderings of what the finished building's gonna look like. Um, I, f I have a feeling we're gonna keep most of it looking very historic, but this top piece, I'm not really sure what's happening here. So I'm going to look at that and I'll come back and sketch maybe. But that's my scoop. 
Um, hey, Karen, thank you so much for um, for coming on here and uh, sending stars. Karen often sends stars to uh, support the show and support me, which is great. So thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. So shout out for uh, sending some stars. It's It helps, you know, it helps me to get some new pens or some new paper. Because um, you guys know this art stuff can be expensive. This is a cool sketch. I'm going to do one more quick sketch tonight. I think this one's good. I'm not even going to throw a color on it. I'm just going to keep it black and white. Um, the camera, camera says, ask a sailor. Drinking is the best way to deal with stress. Uh, Cameron, I don't know if I'm going to comment on that because uh, I guess, I don't know. I'm not a sailor and I don't drink. So I have no no input on that. My other vice besides sketching to get rid of stress is um, eating ice cream. I love my ice cream. So that's kind of, those are my kind of vices. Uh, to each their own, I say. To each their own. All right, cool. So I like where this is. Let's do another quick sketch. I'm not sure of what. My voice just went up high. What do I want to sketch? So I'm just sketching in my Fabriano spiral bound book here, watercolor paper. I'm liking Fabriano. I think I'm liking it more. I don't know if I should say this out loud. Should I? I'm liking Fabriano more than Canson. Yeah, I am, especially this, where's my, I'm loving, I actually just ordered a couple more of these. I love this format of the Fabriano watercolor paper. I got this from Cheap Joe's. Um, it's a four, it's four inches by eight inches. I love the proportions. That's what I sketched this on in, mem in commemoration of the Empire State Building's 92nd birthday. Um, which was yesterday. I just sketched the spire, the top of the Empire State Building. Sometimes when we sketch architecture and buildings, we think we need to sketch the entire building. But that's not true. You can always just focus in on a part you like. It could be a window, a door, in this case, the spire of the Empire State Building. Um, if you feel like you have to sketch the entire building, sometimes it can be overwhelming. Zoom in on some of the details. And that's kind of a great way just to simplify things in your brain a little bit. A um, really fun sketch here. So what am I going to sketch now? I don't know. I'm unprepared. I'm off the cuff here. Um, you know what? Let's sketch another view of the Domino Factory. I have another picture I can look at. Vice is sketching an ice cream. Oh, you had D-Ray Pete's. Yeah, pizza and ice cream. Yeah, I actually had pizza tonight. So D-Ray, D-Ray, you know my habits. I love my ice cream and my pizza. That's so funny you said that. Um, I'm, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to show you... Here's another cool picture. I'll put this on screen quick. This might... So I'm going to... This is really cool. I love um, the sign on this building. It's pretty awesome, right? So this is more of a straight on view of it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sketch a little part of this and just have fun. But I am gonna close the reference because when I have the reference on, uh, I've had comments before and people are like, well, your sketch does not look like the picture. I used to take offense at that. Now I'm like, it, I don't care. <laughs> I don't want it to look like the picture. <coughs> Excuse me, got a dry throat. So that was done before I did the other one with my Sharpie. Let's uh, just switch gears. I'm going to use my Pilot Precise here. Let's sketch with this one. And I just covered up all the comments, so if anybody's commenting, I just covered up the comment window. So I apologize if I'm missing anything. I'm trying to trying to find the comment window. But after the song, I will look for the comment window, guys. I, I closed it or covered it just now when I opened this picture. But... Let's just sketch this. Notice I'm holding the pen kind of far. I wanted to keep it really loose. I'm going to try doing this almost as a continuous line. We'll see what happens.
think my pilot is running out of ink right now. We're going to keep working with it. It's probably because I had it uncapped on my... Maybe uh, uh, for, I don't know how long, I just found it on my tabletop here. No cap on it. So, it's all good. Alright, let's catch some windows in here. And I'm actually going to bleed some ink on this one. All right, I'm switching gears. Uh, my pilot is running out of pen. I actually am liking, let's bring the Sharpie out. I'm going to just pull out some of the edges with the Sharpie, and then I'm going to bleed some ink on this. There we go. This Sharpie's going to be a little darker, which is cool. Some kind of cool details happening here. There's a sign going on. This is a cool chimney up here. Let's pull these out. I want to pop these vertical pieces out. Again, this is just quick and loose. Boom. Lots of windows on this building. Actually, I'm not going to bleed ink. Here's what I want to do on this one. Uh, let's break out some. Let's go into my magic drawer. In my magic drawer, I am looking for this right here. Is this the right color? Yes. Some uh, art graph water soluble. See it right there? Water soluble chalk. Let's bleed some of this on here. I just want to get this kind of reddish color. So, a couple ways we can do this. I'm going to sketch some of this on, then I'm going to come back with a brush and go on top of it. We'll see how that looks. Just keep it quick, loose. Let me grab a brush here. All right, I am still working on this dirty water that I've had for about two weeks now. So I'm going to dip into that. Uh, I don't even think this brush is clean. Let's see what colors are on there. We've got some blue. All right, let's just kind of move some of this around on here. I'm actually just dipping this in the water. I'm going to sketch with it. You can see how the rich that color is when I'm dipping in water and just literally sketching with this. What I like about this Taylor's chalk shape, you have some sharp edges, flat edges. So if I want to do like a straight line, I can I'm just dipping this edge here into the water and watch what happens. I'll just put it here. I can just draw down, right? Now I got kind of a clean edge. Or if I want to do a little wider edge, I can kind of go to the side, use the corner. So this shape is really cool. This shape is cool for laying down different shapes on here. It's fun stuff. And I'm getting it on my palm, which is great. So now it's spreading over here. <laughs> It's all good. I'm just having fun with the colors, guys. This is cool. I'm not even looking at the picture. And I want to break out. Oh, I want to break out some turquoise. I think turquoise goes well with this. So let's just break out some turquoise. Throw this on also. 
And after it dries, I'll come back in with my Sharpie and I'll kind of sketch out the windows and some of the details. So this is just blocking it out. Okay, I'm just going to throw some of this in here. I'm making up my own color scheme, which is one of the things I just love doing. There we go. Cool. I'm very bad about cleaning my brush off before I dip it into the pans here. So you might notice that I'm kind of a um, sloppy. I don't know if sloppy is the word. I'm kind of sloppy with what I'm doing. And it's because I'm always quick. I'm on the fly. I'm just creating spontaneously here. Oh, my brush is getting a little wonky. So I'm going to have to get a new one of these soon. There we go. Cool. That's fun. Yeah, I'm liking out those colors. That's cool. This will be fun to sketch over after it dries with my um, Sharpie. I think these colors are going to be really cool. I don't have a paper towel. Oh, there's not a napkin, so it'll work. I'm just going to blot some of this out in places. Just to pull it back a little. There we go. And I'll zoom in in a second. You can see what these colors are looking like. I need a little brightness here, so I'm going to pop on. I'm going to pop on some yellow. Where's my? Uh, let's get my yellow preppy out. So we got my yellow preppy. We're going to throw some yellow on here. And I hope, hope you guys are doing well. I just literally pulled the back end of my pen off. <laughs> okay. Let's just throw some yellow. I just I feel like we need a little bit of brightness happening here. This preppy yellow I think is is tops for me when it comes to yellow colors. Especially when I do what I'm about to do. You guys may have seen me do it. I'm literally just going to take this off. And I just, I love the color that comes right out of here. Got a lot just came out. But we'll, we'll mess around with it. We'll use it. So I kind of like that big block there of the yellow orange color. This is going to dry really nicely here. I'm going to just pull a little bit up here as well. Uh, that looks really cool. This is going to be. This is going to turn out to be really fun. I'm getting good vibes about it. Right now, it's kind of in its ugly duckling stage. I think all artwork. Sometimes it has an ugly ducking, duckling stage where you're like, oh my God, that's horrible. But you keep working at it and then it has that magic moment where boom, it just turns around. I talked about watching Bob Ross and for me, every Bob Ross episode has that magic moment where you look and his paintings just transform to the next level. And for me, that's the part, even though I was a kid, that was the part I always waited for was... When, is, when am I going to see that transformation take place? It was kind of like a magic trick. Maybe that's one of the reasons I was always drawn to watching um, Bob Ross paint. He was almost like a, a magician to me. Oh, this is drawing really cool. All right, let me zoom in, guys. Then I'll look at the comments if I can find them. Look at how this is drying here. I, I'm in love with this part right here. Yeah, it's okay to be in love with your colors. 
if you can't love what you're doing, why do it, right? This is going to dry really, really cool here. Love that. I love this right here also, the yellow. If I had one of my little square frames, I would just map. Do I have one? Let's see if I can block that out. Let's look at my drawers here. I might have to make a new frame. I lost. Where's my other one I created? I don't have it. I don't have my mini frame. I had the one with the one by one inch and two by two inch squares cut out, but I don't have it here. I've lost it. Anyways, it's easy enough to cut one out. I'll do that some other time, but you can kind of see this is the area I'm talking about in here. It looks really, really cool in person. I, right, let's see if I can find the uh, chat box here. How the heck did I, how did I lose the chat box? You go to window. Welcome to the back end technical section of tonight's broadcast. Where the artist is now trying to find the comment box. Fortunately, I'm pretty good with tech. I have to admit. I see. I just found it. All right, you guys are awesome. Found the comment box. Um, yeah, that's an awesome sign of picture. Sip your water. Oh, thanks, T. Ray. I do have water here, actually. Well, he covered the comment window. It means I can just watch. Yes. Yeah, rich color from the chalk, right? Really, I love this this color right here. It's called sanguine, sanguine, sanguini. Is that how you say it in Italian? If it's Italian, I don't even know. Um, it's like a wineish color. Hey, Linda's in the house. Linda, good to see you. Hope all's well. Sorry, I am late. Linda, you are not late. There's no way you could be late. When I didn't even say I was going to be on tonight, so you're right on time. It's perfect. Angel, good to see you. Hope all's well. Um, colors are beautiful, and I love watching Bob Ross, Karen says. Yeah, right? Bob Ross is... Um, I still love watching Bob Ross. It's just incredible. I don't paint landscapes. I can do abstract quick ones, but... Incredible, incredible talent, right? Um, good stuff. That's so calming. Bob Ross is always so calming to watch. Um, yeah, D Ray's narrating when I pulled the back end of my preppy pen off. Yeah, I'll pull pull the back end right off. This is drying really nicely, by the way. I am stalling a little bit because I want this to dry, and then I'll maybe do a little sketching on it before I wrap up. So it's kind of wet right now. And we'll turn it into something cool and industrial looking. Colors remind me of a koi fish. Ooh, angel. That is so cool. Yeah, right? I could totally see a koi fish. Love it. What's really cool about that is I'm in my architecture classes. I'm talking to my students about how nature can inspire buildings and architecture. Um, so I love that you're associating the colors with a with nature really cool to your left look again left lower what are you painting I am painting an industrial building I started with a reference of the Domino sugar factory in Brooklyn quickly um, just to outline something quickly it is not this is not the Domino factory I'm gonna take this as a base and make it into some industrial warehouse type of building so that's where I'm headed with this one Good evening, DB is in the house. DB, great to see you. Love your combination of colors. Awesome. It's always great seeing DB. Um, yes, he was with his happy, yeah, happy little trees. All right. Let's sketch some happy little windows. I think I'm going to take my Lamy pen. 
And we're going to sketch some happy little windows and bleed some ink. I do a very bad Bob Ross, and his hair was much nicer than mine. Just saying. Um, so I'm just taking my preppy. I'm going to just, I want to sketch some windows in here. Let's do some arch top windows. We'll bleed some of this ink. It's still a little wet, which is fine. I prefer it to be drier when I'm sketching these. But I want to just kind of show you guys what it could look like. We'll just some in here as well. So I'm just sketching some windows on, keeping it quick and loose. Um, this was some kind of a chimney stack going on here. This is the chimney. Chimney has some cool details in it, cool brickwork. It has some arches happening. This is really wet here. I'm going to stay away from that area. Try to keep my palm away from there too. And I'm going to bleed some of those windows and just show you what it could look like. I'm going to take my aqua brush. You yeah, guys, it's not art unless what? Unless you wear it. I am totally wearing that yellow ink right there. Will it come off? That is the question. It will. It will come off at some point in time. All right. I'm just going to bleed this ink a little bit just because I want to give some shape to these windows. Notice I didn't sketch them as perfect squares, perfect arches. This is just kind of my shorthand of how I like to show windows on buildings a lot. Just to kind of loosely indicate the op indicate the um, openings. This is not a detail painting sketch by any means. Another reason I actually went with the Lamy is because I'm trying to keep my palm off of this area. I can hold the Lamy pretty far off the page. And I like the way Lamy ink bleeds. So that would be fun to throw it on here. So you can kind of see, right, I've just got some windows popping out. If you're sketching architecture, don't feel like you always have to. You don't have to sketch windows perfectly, doors perfectly. Unless that's your style, go for it. you can totally go for it. You know, if I was doing a detail of a window or a close-up detail of a door, I probably would take my time and make it a little more a little more technical, a little more precise. But here I'm just trying to create a vibe. So I'm sketching some happy little windows. This is nice to do with gray as well instead of black. You can do it any color you want. Yeah, this is still a little wet, so I have to wait for this to dry before I can come back and add more ink details on it. I'll zoom out, you can kind of see. Kind of see it taking shape when I'm throwing on the windows, right? Um, <clears throat> bum, bum, bum. I didn't realize we are in the same profession. Oh, Angel. Keep sharpening the minds of the next generation of architects. Angel, that is so cool. Do you... Angel, are, so are you a, an architect architectural teacher? Are you a licensed architect? Are you both? I'm just curious. That is so cool. I've been um, I've been a licensed architect since 2001. Uh, I've had my own business since 2003 and I just started teaching high school four years ago. I teach architecture and CAD and let me tell you I wish I started teaching sooner. I I love teaching so much. It is incredible. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I found my calling when I started teaching, or one of my callings. I, I just love it so so much. So cool. Uh, so you can see I did get some on my palm. I tried not to. It's somewhere here. This is just a practice piece. This is for fun, guys. I could crop it if I wanted to. We're just messing around tonight. So it's all good. Gotta have fun. Cool. 
I am I do want to break out maybe I have some colored pencils so I definitely see some light aqua happening on here at some point uh, if you guys have been watching my industrial sketches inspired by the steel stacks in Pennsylvania you know these if you've been watching me sketch these here loving this color scheme this has light aqua on it and the pink so I might work some of that in here on here as well and we'll see how it looks cool bum, 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 bum. Cole H hey Cole H is in the house great to see you Cole H welcome so cool hey Patty's in the house well, evening inklings wow you guys are piling in this is amazing I am so blessed DB says you are a great teacher and have wonderful workshops hey DB thank you so much DB you are you are equally inspirational um, I am having having an architectural sketching workshop online this summer guys I've committed it committed to it in my brain so I hope uh, I'll make announcements hope you, you guys will sign up and join it would be awesome so I probably won't start it till um, school ends school ends end of June for us uh, thank you DB Angel says 23 years non -li non licensed oh you're working on it, Angel that's so cool Oh, you're 23 plus years. You're doing a graduate thesis mentoring college juries. Would love to be a teacher. Hey, Angel. That is awesome. So, so cool. Love it, love it, love it. If you ever make any cues, let me know. That's so cool. D-Ray. Okay, on to colored pencils. Loving it. Thank you, D-Ray, for summarizing what I'm saying. Because I do lose my place. Guys, I'm trying really hard to sketch on here. It's wet. It's got to be dry for the colored pencil. I don't think there's going to be much more I can do on this one. But I have this colored pencil. Let's mess around. I bought this at Michael's the other day. I have not used this color. I've been wanting to use it. It's called um, Sky Blue Light. Loving it. Let's just sketch on here and for fun and see what it looks like. We'll zoom in a little bit. And then we'll wrap up because I do have school tomorrow. We do have school. Which is good. I don't mind that I have school. Alright. Let's throw this color down. I'm actually going to sharpen it, so I'm going to turn the sound off for a second. This is a great little portable sharpener. If you go to my website, www.theinkspiredlife.com, should be on here, on the uh, box over here, the bottom somewhere. I'm trying to point to it like they do on TV. I can't point to it. Somewhere in my lower right. Anyway, if you go there, there's a page where I talk about the materials and tools I like to use. I think this is listed on there if you want to check it out. Uh, it's really good at sharpening these colored pencils. And I think DB, maybe maybe you got one of these DB? I'm going to just mute for a sec so you don't hear the sharpener. Cool. So it works. It works pretty well. All the shavings go in here. I think it takes, I'm not sure, two AA batteries, maybe, if I remember. I think the batteries last a pretty long time. All right, let's throw some of this color down. I'm curious. This would look really cool by the yellow-orange, so let's just throw it on there. I'm going to zoom in closer. It is a light blue. I don't know if you guys can see it because this is very light blue, but it's a really nice color. It's very um, soothing. Guys, in the chat, let me know what kind of um, things do you like to draw or paint? What subjects do you like to draw, sketch, paint? Or if, maybe if you make models or sculptures, I'm curious. If you can let me know in the chat, that would be awesome. What's kind of your artistic vibe? Um, this is a really cool color, guys. I'm going to really darken it here so you can see it. 
This will look cool on black paper. Oh, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I have black paper. Here. Boom. Let's try this on the black paper. It's okay if I put it down. That's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is cool on black paper. Dang, guys, this is really, this color is, is really cool on black. Loving it. What am I sketching? I don't know. I'm sketching some kind of building. Maybe we'll turn it into a church. Speaking of churches, I wonder how the uh, Notre Dame reconstruction is going. Or Notre Dame, however you want to say it. The one thing about Prismacolors, I love them. They're my favorites. But the um, the lead really it kind of melts and it melts into the paper and it has a nice smooth texture. But you can go through these pencils really quickly. Especially if you're going to really grind it in here so you can see it. So really, really cool color. It might look white on camera, but it's actually a very light blue. All right, cool. Chloe says, I love the color palette on the painting. Hey, thank you, Cole H. I love that you love the color palette. That's so cool. Yeah, it's drying really nicely. Look at this. This is preppy, a preppy pen. Um, it's preppy yellow, but when it comes directly out of the tube, when I shook it on here, it's a really beautiful yellow-orange color. Um, I love I love the colors too. Awesome comment. Ba boom Okay, on the colored pencils, do you use any reference photos or are you just sketching out of memory or just a visual in your mind? That is an awesome question, Cole. So this I actually started with a reference picture of the Domino Sugar Factory. I only had the picture, I looked at the picture for maybe a minute, two minutes at the most, just to get a rough idea and then threw the picture away and this is just my own thing. So sometimes I will use a reference picture and sometimes I won't. So great question. Um, but I'm very rarely trying to really duplicate or replicate something exactly. It's always my take, my style, my twist on it. Um, and that's what makes it more fun. Great question. Love it. Yes, it's on the right. Oh, the, uh, yeah, the www dot thing. Thank you. I'm behind on the comments. Sorry. Uh, yes, I do. And I've bought some for friends. Oh, okay. DB has, does like this one. Good. So thank you for confirming that you have it. I'm glad you like these too. I don't sponsor these. I mean, they don't sponsor me, but it's just good to use. Patty says, love that color, Robin's Egg Blue. Yeah, that's what it looks like, a Robin Eggs Blue. Aren't Robin's Eggs beautiful? Um, sometimes, I think last year I found some on the ground, I guess after the um, birdlings, hatchlings. What's a baby bird? Hatchling? When they came out of their egg, I found a, a couple on the ground, which was cool. Um, I don't even know what it's called. My brain's like turned off. A uh, nice the blue pencil and black paper. It is cool. You've been on, you've been on a Florence Duomo kick for a while. Fountain pen inks with water brush. Very loose, similar to yours. Angel, I'd love to see. I would love to see your um, sketches. Feel free to you post them to me. If you want, or if you have a Insta or something, let me know. Be cool to see what you have. Linda, I also use Micron and Posca pens. Yeah, so let's break out a Posca. I just bought some Posca pens. Posca? Posca? I think in Jersey we say Posca. 
and probably really said Puska. These are cool. I haven't used them that much. Let's just break one out for the heck of it. Um, I'm feeling like let's mess around with this like salmon color. What's it called? Coral. Coral color. What the heck? So we're just having fun, guys, with colors and play, being playful tonight. Um, I have microns also. Hey, Jennifer, cheers from Arizona. Great to see you, Jennifer. Hope all's well. So we're going to I'm gonna take this Posca pen. We're just going to play around with it for a minute, and I'm going to wrap. I think I probably said that a half hour ago. You guys know I like to talk. Which is weird because I don't really. I never used to talk on these live streams. Now maybe I talk too much. Um, are those pencils a special brand? Yeah, these colored pencils are Prismacolor. I love the Prismacolor Premier. I don't know if it might be a little blurry. I love the Prismacolor Premier colored pencils. So they're not watercolor pencils, they're just regular, straight up. Um, colored pencils. Prismacolor. Good question. Did you sell the couch to buy them? Um, no, I didn't sell the couch to buy these. If you look at my Rue wall over here, I should show you guys sometime all of the Rue paintings I have. I have one. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have about 18 on my wall here. 17. Oh, and here's my two-inch frame. I just found it. But yeah, I, have, I definitely sold the couch to buy those um, amazing watercolor sketches. So cool. Here's my little frame I was looking for. If I hold it down here, you zoom in, you can see this area I was talking about. Look at the colors in here. I really love it. Here's this. It's looking a little dark on my camera. It's a little lighter in, in person. There's some really cool color schemes happening. This would be just a cool little abstract right here. Boom. A little two inch by two inch frame. We have a, a nice little abstract kind of sketch happening. I like, I'm not actually liking that. I'm liking this two inch by two inch better than the whole thing. I might have to do that. I might actually cut this out, believe it or not, into a two inch by two inch square. I love it. Um, <laughs> if I miss comments, sorry guys, I'm starting to get, I'm getting a little goofy here. All right, let's throw some of this coral color and then we'll wrap. So Posca pens, I'm new to these paint pens. I haven't used them much at all. I guess that's what new means. I just said the same thing twice. You gotta shake them up. I did learn the hard way once that after you shake them, and if you use them, you probably want to keep them covered when you're shaking so it doesn't splatter everywhere. You'll notice the tip is white. That means the paint has not started coming out. To get the paint coming out, we do this. We just keep tapping it down. And then it'll start bleeding out. You can kind of see it. The tip is now pink. So we're ready to go. Oh, I like this song. This is like some kind of Olympic song. All right, cool. Let's uh, do some Posca paint on here. Let's see how it works. I'm going to see if I can go over the... So it looks like I can, I can go over colored pencil if I want. I'm actually seeing if smell. Sometimes these things have odors. There's a little bit of odor to it. So if, I know some people don't like using Sharpies because uh, they're strong, they have a strong scent. So I'm just going to actually going over here, covering that blue just to see what it looks like. So I threw down some color. Let's see if we can brush it. I don't know how long it takes to dry. So I'm going to dip this in water. Let's, again, guys, creating, sketching, painting is just about, you know, being playful, trying different things. I don't know how this really works. I've never used it. I like, what I like is that I can see I can see some of that blue coming through. That's kind of cool. So. 
sure when this dries it probably is not water soluble so once it dries you're kind of stuck with it but you can th you can thin it out with water I'm doing over here what's cool about these paint pens is they're rich they're vibrant um, I love doing mixed media pieces it's actually this is actually not a bad combination let's throw a little bit of detail in here with the pink Sketch there's an arch. Let's kind of pull out the arch shape there. We have a kind of an arch happening there as well. Let's kind of pull out this rectangle. And then let's just pull out these vertical pieces. We'll just throw some of that coral on the sides and we'll kind of pull out this vertical, um, the steel columns here, or the piers, the steel piers coming down. Not steel, the brick piers. Cool. This actually turned out to be a, f a fun little um, sketch. Let's see, are these dry yet? Uh, this is dry to touch already here. So out of curiosity, can I, can I move it around after it dries like watercolor or not? I'm guessing not. No. So once this dries, it is staying where it is. So you got to work quick with it if you want to spread it around and kind of blend it. So I'm going to soften these edges up a little bit if I can. Guys, that is really cool looking. Ba -bum -ba -bum. Prismacolor, uh, same where I am. No, just his soul. Something. <laughs> I'm lost in the comments, but that's f cool. Yeah, I found my frame. They also lock up on... They also lock up on the Tombos too. Oh, I have um, I have some Tombow brush pens here, brush markers. Redo it bigger. Don't cut it out. Oh, Linda's saying about this here. Redo it bigger. That's a cool idea, but I, I honestly would never be able to replicate this on a bigger scale, exactly as it is. I could get close-ish with it. It wouldn't be exact. Um, good point. But I'm actually I'm actually liking the way this is coming out as a bigger piece anyway. So I don't think I'm going to cut it. Ba -bum. Coral. Like the color. Quit sniffing the marker. Yeah, I want to see what kind of odor it had. So people have asked me sometimes, especially Sharpies. I have this really big Sharpie that you really want to use with ventilation. Patty says, loving how the blue is peeking through the pink to create a cloudy effect. Yeah, that was kind of a um, happy accident. I'm talking about Bob Ross. Happy little accident here. And over here we have... It's kind of soft over there. Cool. The race is Posca. Hey guys, let me know if you have any final questions. I am going to wrap up. Let me zoom out. So this was just kind of a fun, quick playful we tried some Posca pen on here I do love use, doing mixed media pieces we have a colored pencil a Posca paint marker we have Lamy on here we have a pilot pen we have a preppy we use some of this as well just kind of pile me to zoom out and pile everything up I'm using here you can see my desk so this is the kind of stuff I had used I didn't use this pen Um, and I did, did I use my Sharpie? I don't think I used my Sharpie on this one yet. There you go. We have a nice little fun little sketch. And then let's see how the first one we did is, what that looked like. We'll wrap up. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching and popping on. It really does mean a lot to me. You guys keep me going, which is great. Um, so here's the the first sketch. So you can see I kind of have extremes. I can go from really simple, simple meaning colors, just black and white. Quick loose line sketch, black and white. This was this was my style for many, many years. Um, because I was always afraid to put color on my sketches. Once I started adding color, maybe 
I don't know, four years ago, five years ago. Um, I'm not afraid of it anymore, as you can see. So we have kind of extremes, right? And that's just a result of me being open-minded and being playful um, with my creativity. So I encourage that with you guys. Be playful, open-minded. Try different techniques, different mediums, different papers. And you never know um, what you're going to find out. It's really cool. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Linda, great seeing you. Enjoy your evening. You as well. QQQ, DB is a Q. Did you have a white one? Yeah, I have a white Posca pen as marker. You want to see the white, DB? So here's the white one. Let's, I haven't used it, so let's try it. Or did I, did I use this at all? No, I didn't use this tonight. Let's, let's throw some white on here. Check it out. There he says wrapping up. D-Ray, you know me. I say I'm wrapping up about 25 times before I actually wrap up. And then when I go to wrap up, I can't wrap up because I can't find the button to close the thing. Um, here's white. Let's try this on the black paper. Here, let's, we have this piece out we mess around with. So this is just a white Posca pen. Uh, I'm just going to sketch, we'll sketch a little lighthouse or something on here. Um, it's really cool. I'm loving this white. So that's the white Posca paint pen. I throw it. I would throw it on here, but I don't know where. Oh, what the heck? Let's throw it on here. Let's try it out. Let's throw like a little, some kind of a white highlight here, which is nice because it's kind of giving a little definition to those vertical pieces. There you go. So. You, there you go, DB. I threw some white on there, which is actually kind of cool. Let's pull, put some white here to kind of pull this edge out a little bit. So you can have all kinds of fun with the white Posca. And I guess if you put a bunch of colors on while they're wet, you can blend the colors together. I'm not going to try that right now, but there you go. That's cool. So thank you, DB. I can even actually throw some uh, in the black windows here to create window pane. It's kind of happening. Oh, DB, you're a genius. Thank you for making me take this out. Look at this. This is so cool. I'm just throwing some kind of random spots on these black windows, and it's just creating a little more interest to the windows. You want to overdo it. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for that, for mentioning the white. See? Another happy little accent. Fun stuff, guys. White is crisp. Patty loves the white Posca. Is it Posca or Posca? On black. Yeah, it is intense. Dear is like, we know. You guys know me by now, right? My goodbyes. Cameron, great seeing you. Have a great night, man. We will have to catch up soon. Hope you're doing, doing well in school. You might even be done or done really soon. Good night, Karen. Great to see you as well. Patty, great seeing you in the house. Uh, Linda, it's great seeing you. Karen now says, I want the white one. Yeah, I recommend it, guys. Go for it. I bought, th I bought these in a set at Michael's. I forget how much. I think it was 30 I had a coupon, but I think without the coupon, it was $28 or something for six of them. Two, four, six, seven. Something like that. I actually, you know what? I may have bought this white separately a, a long time ago. I just never used it. I'm forgetful. TV likes the white one too. Awesome. Donna asked for the white one. Linda says, looking great, white. This is interesting music. All right, guys. I'm just scrolling through to see if I missed anybody that tuned in. Uh, Jennifer was in the house. Jennifer, it was great seeing you. Cole was here. Cole, always fun seeing you as well. Angel was uh, in the house. Great seeing you, Angel. 
I think I got everybody that watched live. If I missed you, I'm sorry. I'm just going through. That's it. Guys, thank you so much. I'm officially out of here. Have a great, great night. I will see you really soon. We'll sketch something else fun and architectural. Keep paying it forward with your positivity, whether it's a smile or a wave or a nod. Hello to somebody. A small gesture can really go a long, long way. Peace and live creatively. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Hey, I got the finish button right here. Boom. I'm out of here. See you guys. That timing didn't work out. See you guys.